All right, recording in progress. So um, I'll just start and I'm gonna turn the time mostly over to um, Sherry and Phil, as you know, they are our um, PPI, we'll say print share, but it's really image, you know, we're not doing actual prints, but print share co-hosts or co, yeah, right? Co-chair, mm -hmm. co-chair. <laughs> anyway, um, and so we've been working together uh, in an effort to really maximize the um, positives according to what we want for our organization for image competition. We've had some really great feedback over the years and we had the most new participants for entering image competition last year. And so, <clears throat> sorry, dry throat. Um, anyway, so we, um, we really wanted to give it some good thought and consideration. And this has been something we've discussed as a group and as a board, and we're really excited to share with you all. And so everyone is clear and prepared and ready to enter and, and have fun with the changes that we have. So without further ado, passing it on to you. All right. So Sherry, you want me to do this, right? Yes, I do. I'll okay. time it now then. <laughs> All right, well, hop in if I get something wrong, okay? Um, okay. So anyway, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Um, so I think uh, one of the things we had talked about is, um, and we're pretty excited, and I need to actually kind of look through the, I, just a second here. Okay, yeah. So let me go ahead and I'll just go ahead and share my screen here. And, uh, Let's see. Everyone see that? Yes. All right. Let me hit that. Okay. All right. So 2022 print competition. Uh, it's going to be happening Thursday, April 7th, 2022, uh, prior to convention. Uh, my understanding, it will be between the Lindsay Adler program and the main body of the convention. And so um, uh, Courtyard by Marriott on 1789 South Eagle Road, I think is, correct me if I'm wrong, that's where we had it last year. It is not the exact location. It is the same corner, but at a different okay. hotel. So it's a not, different and it's actually a hotel, not a convention center, so. Okay, okay, good, thank you. Uh -huh. um, all right. So, did I just get ahead of myself? Oh, I just jumped ahead. Okay. Sorry, my, there we go. All right. So, entry deadline, uh, midnight Monday, April 4th, 2022. So, that will be uploaded to printcompetition.com. That means you will have to make sure that your uh, uh, printcompetition.com uh uh, subscription is current and then of course paid your case fee uploaded your images and um, this is also going to be a digital only print competition as well so this is you know make sure your digital images are the best they can be and that you've looked at them on a calibrated monitor because that's how they're going to be judged they're going to be judged through Lightroom uh, to the various judges so anyway uh, just be prepared for that um, eligibility uh, so few few things of uh, about that uh, PPI member with current dues paid resident or non resident of Idaho um, has paid for the registration for a full convention pass pass prior to judging and um, it's fifteen dollars per images for per image six image maximum so it's going to be on a per image basis or eighty five dollars for all six, so it's about a $5 discount. So it makes sense to just turn in a full case because you know you get a little bit of a break there. Um, that, and if you're going on to districts, what's really uh, important about that is you got six images to really kind of cull from, pick your best four based on the scoring here at state and uh, move them on to districts, uh, district PPA. So anyway, uh, Couple of good reasons to go ahead and turn in a full case. A non-member uh, for non-members, uh, these will be for scoring purposes only. It's twenty dollars per image with a four-image maximum. So the idea here is there is a lot of competitors who are 
planning to compete at districts and wanting to get scores on their images so that uh, when they do go to districts, they've got the best possible images possible. And that just opens up the opportunity for people who are not necessarily PPI members to be involved in our print competition, get score, but not necessarily be part of the awards process or anything like that. They just simply want to score for their uh, images so they can compete um, in their own, well, potentially their own state or more likely districts in IPC. Okay. So the categories, 2022 categories are going to be landscape, wedding, unclassified artist, high school senior, portrait man, portrait woman, portrait child, portrait group, and newborn. And so uh, it, it's kind of a re-expanding of categories. Uh, we used to have lots of categories with lots of different trophy opportunities for our members to win. And um, so in the past, we've been, uh, we've kind of condensed it to be more like IPC does it. And this year it has been opened up to where, you know, uh, a portrait, you know, for instance, portrait of a child is not competing against the portrait of a model or, you know, a group is going to be judged against other, well, we'll be competing against other group portraits. And so very similar to PPI or PPA's wedding category where, some of these things really are kind of a uh, a, uh, a, uh, a group or a category to their own, kind of the same thing. So when they're actually picking trophies, you know, they're picking trophies from a child group or a group, uh, a portrait group uh, category or high school senior category or so on. So or Phil, I, wanna, yes. I just want to say something really fast. All right, um, in the past, um, we've kind of lumped all of the portrait pictures into one category, and it just seemed like there was so many entered into that category, and hardly anything else was entered into the other categories. And so this is just a way for um, more, um, sorry, I got distracted by the message at the bottom, or um, for more, I guess more, um, uh, judging against the type of portrait rather than just portraits all lumped together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, we're not trying to judge a group portrait against, say, you know, a, a something else, you know, newborn. Newborns really are kind of a separate group from anything else. Children are kind of a group from separate, and it, it just kind of helps break up the categories so that, um, you know, it's, it's just a better better way to do it, I think. Uh, the artist category. Uh, one of the important things about the artist category, guide images must be included in the presentation. And for those of you who competed before, this is no, no secret. Or if any of you are wanting to compete in the artist category, um, you'll have to include your elements that goes into the image into your uh, presentation kind of like what's what's illustrated there. So that is something that's gonna be, it's not different, but for first time competitors who wanna compete in the artist category, you have to show what went into the work. Uh, the awards are gonna be different this year. Um, we are, what we're doing is in lieu of trophies, we're going to be doing medals, um, kind of similar to uh, medals that, you know, they pass in the, um, in the, in the uh, armed forces. Um, it's so what it is, there's uh, initially there's a stand, there's a possibility of, I think we're still looking at display options at this point, but in lieu of trophies, we're gonna have those for the different classes or the different categories. So being, you know, portrait man, first, second, third, portrait man, portrait woman, artist and so on and so forth. So that's where these medals are gonna be incorporated. We will continue to you know, do the trophies with photographer of the year, um, uh, uh, member's choice or yeah, member's choice awards and things like that. But as far as the actual first, second, third place trophies, we're gonna start doing medals. Okay, any questions there? That'll be a big, that'll be a big difference that you'll notice right away. 
Uh, as I mentioned, trophies for Spirit of Idaho, Photographer of the Year, Idaho Elite Photographer of the Year, the Rookie of the Year, uh, Best PPA Certified Image, that is actually a PPA trophy, and as well as the ASP, which is also an ASP trophy as well. So those are, those are the areas we will be doing trophies on. We will be doing ribbons on the Judge's Choice Awards, just as before. And then we're going to be doing medals, uh, which are, you know, just basically like the Olympic, uh, uh, you know, they do at the Olympics for Photographer's Choice, the Print Share Channel Challenge, the Court of Honor, and Best Out of State Award. And so, um, so that's pretty much the awards uh, we're going to be doing. So these are not, of course, right here it says these are not. The images of the actual words, that's still in the works, but something like this. So again, we're gonna to continue to judge as we've always done on the 12 elements of a merit image. Um, and of course, those are all there. Impact, technical excellence, creativity. Um, is everyone here really familiar with this or do I need to flesh this out a little bit more? You, you probably don't need to in this forum. We'll, we can talk about that at another time. Um, okay. So anyway, yeah, in terms of submitting images, this is gonna be the criteria that we're gonna be, that uh, the judges will be judging on. Um, and I'm Actually, just gonna walk through them just really quickly without much description, but I'm Actually, sorry, what? One thing that, um, if you're walking through it, maybe you'll go into it, but one thing I think it's is important for someone who's never entered our image competition before to understand all these elements, the um, presentation, what that means so that they don't enter an image without any kind of matting, digital matting or framing. So that, okay. that might throw them a little bit. I'll, I'll go into a very, just a very brief description of what each one of these categories, what that actually means and without getting into a lot of detail. So impact, that's essentially, that's, that's what a judge feels when, when basically the image comes on the screen, here's the title and the image comes on the screen you know, it's all happened to us before when we hear, hear a title and then the picture and you go, <gasps> that's the impact. It's a very emotional response. Now, impact really, in my view, kind of really stems from the other 12. But, uh, you know, and I think there's a lot of discussion about that. But technical excellence is one of those things that, you know, once you get over, get beyond the impact, you're going to look at the technical excellence, which... Uh, uh, how it's executed, you know, and it ties in with things like color balance and um, uh, technique and things like that. Um, creativity, you know, what, um, you know, what was unexpected in this image? What, you know, uh, I'll, sometimes I, I hear judges talk about, uh, you know, I keep seeing things as I look in here and it's just these little fun things that, uh, just on first glance, you know, they, you know, you didn't really notice, but on the other hand, you know, an example of how creativity could be incorporated of, you know, these little Easter eggs, sometimes artists hide their image and so on, but it also goes beyond that about how uh, imaginative, you know, they didn't have an image that, oh yeah, I've done that before, you know, so creativity is in their style. Um, style is what you bring to the, you know, there's a very light and airy style. They can be uh, dark and low key styles. Uh, style would be like old Hollywood glamour or could be, um, you know, uh, more of a natural light type of style or a very bright and airy type of style. So that also is one of the things that they consider in that. Um, composition, composition, uh, that, that's the basics of, um, you know, using rule of thirds, leading lines, um, you know, uh, color harmony, all of these things come into composition and, uh, how well it's composed presentation. This is a big one. And particularly if you're brand new to this, uh, presentation is where, uh, how you present this. So it is pretty, it, most of it manifests itself as a digital matting of some kind. And it's a color of a dis the, the, you pick the color, the tone, 
you could po possibly inter introduce some texture. Just be very careful there because if the presentation overpowers the image, then you're going to lose score on that. So what, it, presentation needs to be there, but it can't be the star of the show. Your image has to be the star of the show. So that there's a very, very delicate balance. And uh, saw a great presentation by Cherry Hammond last year on that really, really, that real fine line between too much and not enough and, and so on. So your presentation matters. And so um, definitely get some critiques on your present, on all of that plus your presentation, because that's one area that can, things can go awry really easily. Color balance, um, you're, you know, basically nice, nice flesh tones. Your white should be white, your black should be black. Your gray should be gray, and there shouldn't be any rogue colors in your uh, or overly warm or overly cool. Very, that's a very simple thing. Center of interest, um, you really need a good center of interest to this image, and it's going to kind of play into the title. Your title is going to add to that, which comes leads to storytelling later on, of course. But it should have a strong center of interest. If you've got kind of a busy image where you've got all kinds of great things to look at, but you find yourself looking, you know, it's it's lots of things instead of focusing on one thing, might not be a great image, but you will be judged on how well the center of interest uh, plays into it. Lighting, lighting's another one. Uh, good, uh, whether lighting complements the subject, uh, whether it, you know, plays into all of the other 12 elements, you know, how it reinforces, you know, the creativity, the style, the composition, um, things like that, and possibly even color balance in some matters. Uh, lighting is really important. Subject matter. Um, you don't want to, you want to photograph that conveys, that has a strong subject matter and you're not, you don't have competing things in there that uh, distract from, from that and, uh, and how that photograph uh, conveys or communicates what's important about that subject matter as well. Uh, technique, technique goes into more of the technical side where you know technical excellence, color balance, uh, all of these different things, your technique, you know, your exposure, your, all of that stuff goes in and that's, you, know, you don't want it too dark, you don't want it too light and such and then storytelling that that really is strongly related to how you title it and how that image lines up with your title and it really kind of helps create that in every one of these 12 uh, these 12 elements really does help reinforce the impact an image does when it spins around so um could talk all day on this this was a very very quick flyby of the 12 elements and the main thing is is you know we've got some opportunities for people to kind of go try out images here soon and uh, get some feedback based on the criteria that your images will be judged on and so uh, let's see next slide here's our judges uh, oh this, this is, is for your this image is the critique yes did, did I skip a slide no, I didn't put a slide in there with the judges. One thing I also forgot, one slide I forgot is um, we need to announce what the print chair challenge is. Do you want to do that, Phil? I will. Uh, the print chair challenge this year is symmetry. So come up with images that reinforce the sub the topic of symmetry. So that could be a lot of fun. Uh, so anyway, segueing into that, here's an opportunity, particularly, uh, well, for everybody. Um, uh, super fast. If you're not going to talk, you can talk more about how the print share challenge, how to enter it, what it costs, what that kind of thing, or that later. Now would be a good time to do that. Now would be good. Okay. Well, your print share challenge is going to be at the, uh, that's a great, Sherry, why don't you, why don't you okay, hop I'll... on that one? Okay. Cause I, okay. I all of a sudden just went crickets in my head for a moment. Okay. Hey, totally fine. <laughs> okay. So. The print share challenge is taking one of the images that you're already planning on entering. So one of the six potentially, and you pay an additional fee of $25 to be entered into this challenge. 
um, the judges will choose the winner and the winner of the challenge gets half of the money of all of the um, entry fees. Okay, awesome. Love it. Yeah, so that's actually more than just a trophy, that's actual cash reward. So, um, and the one thing I wasn't clear on, thank you for clearing that up, was uh, whether that was part of part of your original six or was that an extra? So that was part one place I was a little sketchy yeah. on. So thank you. You might clarify uh, the entry fees are only from the print challenge, not from all the print entries. Correct. Correct. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I'll go for the other one. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't we all, right? <laughs> All right, so we have uh, digital image critiques. And so uh, one of the things that is, you know, particularly for people who are just uh, stepping into this for the first time, and for those who are really wanting to, you know, people who've played for a long time in the uh, image print competition, this is a great place to kind of try out your images and really get, make sure you've got a good direction before you actually enter into print competition. So we are gonna have a digital image critique on March 12th. And uh, as, and the voice you just heard was Dennis Hammond. He was on the right. He will be one of the judges, very uh, uh, extremely great scenery guy. He's noted in PPA circles for his ability to judge scenery as well as everything else. Um, Dwight Okamoto is, uh, going to be kind of the portrait specialist and Tony Harriman is going to be the artist specialist. So you really have three people who have are very, very um, well respected in the categories that they judge in. And so this is going to be a really great uh, critique because uh, what you will is you'll have a, each one of them will score the image uh, and then give them with an explanation. Uh, you know, one of the things in print competition you're going to find is as you'll see an image go by, there'll be a score and boop, off the screen it goes and you go, I don't understand the score. This is gonna be awesome because you have the opportunity to get a score and get an explanation for the score. And then you'll have an opportunity then to go, oh, hey, yeah, this is gonna be great. Or this is what I need to go work on. Or maybe I just need to ditch that image and put something else in. That is that possibility. But it is a great opportunity to kind of go through and color your images and get them ready for competition. Um, their um, anonymous live Q&A discussion on any question and answers on an image. So, I mean, you could basically ask the moderator a question about an image and have the judges weigh in on that question. So it will be... Um, It'll, it'll be great. It's going to be really cool. Uh, this is going to be an all Zoom meeting. So this will be re and recorded to watch it again. And again, $15 per image is the, the fee with a limit of four images. So you pick what I suggest is pick your four strongest images and uh, put them in for critique. And then, you know, you're going to learn a whole ton of stuff. And for those of us who have played for a while, you know, it's a great opportunity even for us to kind of take a look at our images and and make sure everything we're doing is, uh, you know, we're prepared for image competition. So I just want to add that um, the reason we're doing the, the image critique is to help people prepare their images for competition at convention. So that's the reason we're doing this. It's... Um, if you're planning on entering some images and you just want to get some feedback before you enter it into the competition, that's what this image critique is for. So it's separate. And if I could yes. add one thing as well, um, in addition to, for those who are looking to enter, it's also more than, uh, people are more than welcome to, even if they have no plans of entering, but they would like to have this uh, opportunity to hear what judges might say at that level of, of uh, judging. The, yes, so to answer your question, Carrie, it will be PPA standards, the 12 elements, that's the judging criteria, but you're not having to enter any particular category. There's no awards given. So it's not a competition. It's all about the critique, but they're gonna use the same judging criteria to judge this. But so even if people aren't entering our competition, if they would like to have that level of feedback and critique, that's, that's also open to them as well. Great. And there's a slide that PowerPoint missed. I've been looking for this slide and I got to the end of there and kind of going, where is this? Because this is kind of an important element. 
and I and I'm actually kind of excited about this that they we are breaking our competitors into three categories. Um, we have what's called a newcomer category. So anyone not yet receiving a score of at least 80 on 10 or more images entered in a previous PPI competition. And we do have the records for that. Um, so newcomers, particularly if, well, I mean, basically if this is your first year doing print competition, that's gonna be the newcomer category and they will be trophied as a newcomer category as well. So really, in your competition for any awards, you're gonna be competing against other newcomers. Uh, we've created an advanced category. So anyone receiving a score of at least 80 on 10 or more images. So if you've merited 10 images, uh, that takes you out of the newcomer category into the advanced category with its own set of trophies. Um, and again, print the print chair is gonna be watching to see what has merited and what level you're at. And then finally, we have the elite category. And the elite used to be the master category. Uh, we do have some non-masters who are very serious competitors still. And uh, so uh, the elite would include PPA master photographers in this category. And any maker who has won photographer of the year at least three times and uh, or after receiving a score higher than 80 or more on 30 images entered in previous PPI competitions. And it's just basically to keep everybody kind of lumped in the categories that really, um, you know, every, it, it levels the playing field among all the competitors as far oh. as their skill levels. I just wanna say something. Jen gave a really good uh, comparison. It's like um, if you're playing baseball, and you have someone who plays in the little league, you would not have them play against someone who's in the major league. So we're trying to get the little league players to eventually make it into the major league. Right. Are they all gonna be judged at the same time, but no separate judging for the newcomer versus amateur versus elites or all at the same time judging? They're all at the same time. The difference would be uh, when the, after, um, after what everybody has seen, when the judges go through and enter first, second, third, which is not seen by everybody, that's just kind of the judges choose that afterwards. Um, they will be separated into the images in the newcomer, advanced and elite categories. So um, for instance, when the judges are judging for the newcomer category, we will only pull up portrait man in the newcomer category and they'll choose a first, second, third in that category. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I, I think this is, this is cool. And it basically, you know, before we had master and non-master category, and really what we've done is we've just created three categories because we do have a lot of, you know, we have newcomers, we have intermediates, and we have people who've been playing and have been experienced. And, and it just, you know, like uh, Sherry said, it's like whatever league in baseball you're in right at the moment. And if you're really good, you're going to be popping out of that newcomer category in a very short period of time and probably out of the advanced category in a short period of time too. So um, anyway, but it does. Yeah, that's, it's a great thing. So that that's all the slides. Mm -hmm. Any questions? I, Dennis. Yeah. Who are the judges? Oh, I have that. Hang on. It's on the, it's on the um, print competition website. Let me get to it. Hang on. They are, I just got that information from um, Sam the other day. Okay. Brian Welsh is the JC. Carl Kaler, Lisa Dillon, Allison Watkins, Chris Woolley, and Don Muncie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, I'm curious, uh, did you guys want to go over uh, any maybe changes at least or uh, tidbits about the rules themselves or you just want to direct people to read them for themselves on the website for entering? I know that may be more information that you want to cover right now, but that is another part that might be helpful. 
Any thoughts? Uh, uh, Sherry, do you want to cover the rule changes or? Um... I'm trying to think when we went over it, what, what might be um, helpful. I think maybe one thing that I was noticing, Phil, when you had mentioned for, for people who are non-members that there were not going to be any awards or trophies, but we do have one award for the best out of state image. And they also can uh, enter the print chair challenge if they so choose to pay that extra fee. Okay, that's, that's okay. yeah, that's okay. true. Yeah, it seems to me, yeah, there was just some really small things, not anything. Yeah, you know. I think most, most of the rules are the same. Uh, but yeah. if you're not familiar with them, then you'll want to go onto ppofidaho.com and we have them there, I believe. And you yeah. can read them. Yes. I, I um, had a thought here for just a second. And it just left me. <laughs> um, it is, I think, one of the one of the big things. Now we did this last year, but this is going to be a digital only, which breaks my heart because I love the actual physical print portion of it myself personally. Uh, but it is digital only. So it is going to be, that's the only way we're going to be, it's going to be judged on a, on Lightroom. We'll have shared Lightroom catalogs to the judges. So really it's going to be the best possible color rendition. If you've got a calibrated monitor, it should line up with their calibrated monitors as well. And so just uh, as you're doing that, just be mindful of the fact that if you're not doing this on a calibrated monitor, uh, results may vary uh, based on what the judges see, based on what you're seeing on your own particular monitor, because they're, they're going to be calibrated to a standard. And so um, if that's something you're not familiar with, reach out to one of us. We can probably give you some advice. Wonderful. You guys have any questions? Are you excited? Do you realize how many more opportunities that just opened up for people to participate and receive some fun different types of recognition and awards. I'm excited for it myself. Yeah. Uh, Michael says critique entry is on the website. Yes, if you want to go ahead and submit and start that, you can. It's that registration should be up on the website. Yeah. So my uh, suggestion and, and encouragement is for all of you here, um, this is a plug for convention, but also for, for um, reaching out to people and encouraging people that are maybe not PPI members currently to let them know about our critique, which is open to anybody, regardless of membership. Um, we would love for them to get a taste of the growth that can happen when you get that kind of um, educated feedback on your imagery. And so please reach out to any photographers you know that are looking to raise the bar and elevate their craft so that they can know what PPI offers and get a taste of it maybe in a less threatening competition when it's just a critique, not head to head against other images and other people. And um, maybe we can, you know, get them interested in joining our convention as well as, um, as the, the flyers are going to be sent out here in the next day or two, we've got them printed about convention itself. Um, we want to really encourage all of you as well to uh, invite as many people you can to come. We, we've definitely invested in getting some, um, you know, Lindsay Adler as the pre-con class and some other wonderful instructors. Um, and in order for us to continue to be able to do that, we need to bring enough people in and for the trade show as well uh, to make it worth everybody's time to want to do it again. And it just perpetuates the growth. So. And that all oftentimes happens through word of mouth um, and inviting people to, to join us. And being that it's virtual, even your out of state friends, if they want to uh, participate virtually, they should be able to get access to all that content online as well. So we're excited. Yeah. Okay. You guys are kind of a quiet bunch, but I think most people on here are familiar with our, um, with entering, so that's, probably why we don't have a lot of questions. Um, but if you are watching this and you are not currently a member or have never entered before, please uh, reach out to any of us. You can find us on ppofidaho.com. We're also on Facebook, um, Professional Photographers of Idaho. And we also have a group page. Uh, I always forget the name of it, Photographers of Idaho or something like that. Um, so and, and Sherry put her contact, I think, in, in the um, chat. If anybody else wants to do that as well, if you're willing to share your um, 
information. If people want feedback on their images, they can do that. I'm gonna um, put my email in here as well. And we'd love to hear from you. Okay, there I am, Jennifer LV72 at gmail.com. So yes, congrats for doing a great job presenting both Phil and Sherry. We really appreciate your efforts on working and getting this uh, revamped. And uh, it, I think change is exciting. If anything, it's something new to try out and we hope all of you will, will enter and may the best to all of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael right. and Flo for putting your contact out there too. All right. Okay, well, hopefully we'll see you. Um, See you at the image critique coming up. All right. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.